Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to shoot a cinematic video or b-roll in your neighborhood because it doesn't always have to be epic landscapes and beautiful cities. I live in a small town here in Belgium, but I'm pretty sure we can make an interesting looking sequence. And maybe, hopefully, some of you will get inspired to do the same. I'm gonna start right here because this is a nice place to show the contrast between green areas and then the residential areas in the background. And that's gonna be the common theme throughout the video, that contrast. That's very typical around here. We're gonna see all kinds of different environments, green areas, little industrial areas, and also farm fields. And then hopefully at the end of the video, I can edit all that together in a nice looking sequence. I'm gonna shoot everything with my Canon M50 and the 22 millimeter and the settings will will be 60 frames per second and a shutter speed of 125th of a second. The aperture, it will depend on the shot, but I think somewhere around 3.5. And then Joanna over there, she will film me with the Sony a7S III. Are you ready, babe? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start with the first shot. No, wait, before we go on, guys, two things. First of all, I forgot to mention that I was also using a variable ND filter, one of these guys. So I used the variable ND filter to adjust the exposure instead of adjusting aperture, ISO and shutter speed. And then also, maybe even more important, throughout the video you will see me pull up my pants all the time. And before you go into the comments saying, just wear a belt, man. Well, I am wearing a belt, but you know what the problem is? So see, I am wearing a belt, but the problem is I don't have a butt. So no matter how tight my belt is, there's nothing for it to, to hold on to here. I really can't make it any tighter. It's a problem I have to live with. So just ignore it and try to enjoy the video, okay? <laughs> now, because we don't have a real subject like a person or something like that, it's gonna be all shots of environments. And because of that, you have to make sure to make it look interesting. One way to do that is to shoot at an interesting angle. So for this first shot, I'm gonna go low and I'm gonna use some of this grass as the foreground to create some movement that will make the shot look more dynamic. I think this is gonna be an interesting shot too. So first I'm gonna focus on these little branches here and then during the shot, I'm gonna focus on the house back there. So I'm gonna shift the focus from the branches to the house just by tapping the screen. If you wanna do that, always make sure to tap lightly so that you don't shake the camera. And to keep everything interesting, it's important to get a variation of shots. So wide shots, but also details. And I think here, these textures on these branches, I think it's moss. It looks really nice, nice colors. So I'm gonna get a real close up of this. I think we have some nice shots here of this green area, but before we move on to the next one, I'm gonna take one last shot of this table here. And I'm not gonna make it too crazy, I'm just gonna do a simple push-in shot. You don't always have to go low with foreground and everything, because then all your shots will look the same. A calm, simple push-in shot in between looks also nice. We walked for just a hundred meters and as you can see the environment changed completely. We have the railroad here and then that little industrial area. And I think for the next shot I'm gonna do something with these poles here. I'm gonna try to create some kind of parallax effect so that the background moves at a different speed compared to the foreground. Let's give it a try.
video yoga. Whenever you're shooting a sequence like this, without a plan, just focus on interesting compositions and dynamic shots. Make it look interesting. Later, when you're editing, then you can worry about bringing it all together. Oh, wait. I have to catch the train. Wow, best shot of the day, right? Well, I don't know, because I missed it. Yeah, that's right, I missed it. What happened is, my camera was still recording from before. So when I crossed the street to take the shot of the lights, I hit record and it stopped recording. And then when I was done with the shot, I hit record again to stop recording, but it started recording. You see where I'm going here? And then I went back to take the shot of the train, I hit record to start recording, but it stopped recording. And then when I was done with that shot, I hit record to stop recording, but it started recording. Was that right? I had to practice that one a lot. Anyway, beginner's mistake, it happens. So we had the part with the railroad now and you'll see that now there are gonna be some farm fields. So I'm gonna to have to make that transition from railroad to farm and nature again. Not sure how to do it, but we'll see. Maybe instead of doing a transition from that railroad area to nature again, maybe it will look nice to do a sudden cut to this view. It looks really nice and that way I can show that contrast that I want to show between nature and all those other residential and industrial areas. There's some more moss here, so that will look really nice for the texture, but also the sun is behind it. So maybe if I can catch a sun flare or something like that, that would be even better. Again, this is a very typical view around here, the farm field with residential areas in the background. I have to take a shot of it. And just like my first shot, I'm gonna go low and then try to do something with the foreground and create some movement. Maybe I can try a shift focus again. So first focus on the little green leaves here and then tap the screen to focus to the residential areas. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna take a shot of this beautiful windmill and again, to make it understandable for the viewer, first a wide shot to establish it and then go closer for the details. This also always looks nice, you know, trying to find a frame within the frame. And then it was time to edit guys and I kept it super simple. No crazy transitions or sound design or anything like that. I just wanted to show you my neighborhood, that's it. And it's not like it's a super exciting place, you know? So I wanted to keep it simple. I picked a good music track and then I just edited everything to the music. I tried to find the good flow. And that's it, here's the result.
And I hope now that at least some of you will pick up your camera, go out and make a video of your neighborhood because it's super fun. It's a really good exercise. Don't make it too complicated. Just show off your neighborhood. Focus on framing and composition. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.